Hello again and welcome back to Bangkok and more. Today we are at Wat Sing um, in Bangkok. Ekat Chai Road is not far from here. So here's a big festival because of the upcoming uh, Chinese New Year and um, a lot of fun, a lot of street food. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is very special here. How to get from one side of the river to the other side. Um, this is, you can go by motorbike, but you have to wait if there is uh, traffic from the other side. It's so, so small here, this way, and even the, the people passing this bridge here, and then the motorbike driver, they have to wait. It's so funny. This is Thailand and in the background you can hear the temple, the monks talking here. This is incredible. Look here, how many, how many motorbikes are waiting to get over the bridge. So now you can see motorbikes coming from the other side. It's so small here, I don't know how it works. And they are waiting here. That's Thailand. So here, we have a big temple area here. A, a lot of um, buildings here. Uh, this is the biggest temple building here. And um, later on, maybe we have a show here, music show, dragon show, I don't know. But um, a lot of street food, even um, at the area before the temple. So, when you want to come here from Ekachai Road, there is a, a main road and the, the road to the temple, to the temple is um, full of street food also. It's a really, really big temple. They have fun for the whole family here. And here you can see what they, what they do. The people donate money here. And the money goes up to the, to the top of the temple. You can see here a lot of money. It's going forward. More money is coming. Going up, up to the sky. So let's go through the money here. Yeah, friendly, friendly people everywhere, but you can see, um, and you can hear, it's so loud here, because of, they have a really, really big loud speaker. This is the reason why it's so loud here. Too loud. But anyways, let's get into the street food area. There is a lot of street food at every um, temple festival. But um, in this area here, it's too loud. So we go in front of the temple. So here we have um, a really popular street food at every temple. This is um, oyster omelette. Every festival has these oyster omelettes. It's so... Really, look here. It's in minutes. This is tofu right now. Sometimes they make um, also pad thai. But sometimes only, only the, uh, the oyster omelette. But here, see, pad thai. They make pad thai right now. On a big 
อสเลยอินรีลี่ฮอตเชียร์อินรีลี่ฮอตเชียร์อินรีลี่ฮอตการจะประสานงานให้นายกนะมาลงที่ได้เลยไปแล้วห้าร้อยบาทมีจำนวนสามร้อยบาทบริษัทเนียนส์ยาบินส์ปราวด์และเกือบจะพร้อมแล้วขอรูปนาขอรูปนาเพื่อนลูกนะและถ้าการขายงานในกระเป๋าแต่ยังจะมีส่วนร่วมในการพระราชดำเนินสงครามครูบาอาจารย์วันจะตันอยู่เรียกว่าวันพระราชดำเนินสงครามที่สิบ Sugar. Oh my God! This is really sweet. But we have to sell the fish sauce. Ah, the egg. We forgot the egg. Very important. Special technique. And later, I guess they put the noodles on top of the egg. And sometimes they have scrambled eggs, but here it looks like they put the pad thai. ต้องเสียด้วยถวายพระด้วยนะครับลงชื่อไว้เรียบร้อยแล้วเดี๋ยวกลับไปก็จะได้โอนเงินโอนปัจจัยมาร่วมในการงานพระราชทานเพลิงศพถ้าจะรับพรกันดาวละครถ้ามาเลยพระพิธละครเลย I want to wait until it finish here because it looks so yummy and it is yummy and I think it's only I cannot see the price here, but I guess it's about 30 baht, maybe. So let's wait for the spring onions and the bean sprouts. It's almost done. There are so many different types. How you can make the pad thai? This is one of them. So let's go further. Because it's really, really loud here. You see here, you have to donate a little bit and then you can take a little candle here, put it onto the water. It's like... It's like lots of fun. The candles here. Yeah. Original Thailand. And here, folded omelets here. We have a lot of different folded omelette makers here. This is one of them. And it's very fast. You can see. Egg into the wok. Turn around. Egg yolk. Green sprouts, tofu, green 
onions, peanuts, and a little bit more. Very fast. It's done within, I guess in two minutes it's done. Folding. A little bit of egg yolk on top to close. So, more oil. This is how it works. Ready, done. Next one. And here we have some restaurants you can sit down. Look here. This is really spicy. This not so much. But you have the Chinese noodles here. And another, another oyster omelette. You can see all the ingredients is really fresh. The tofu, the shrimps. The mussels. And you can see it's only 40 baht for one of these incredible yummy omelets. Refreshing drinks and here, five baht for every sausage here. Thai people loving sausages, five baht only. We have chicken sausages, we have beef sausages, pork sausages, hot. Here we have bamboo sticky rice. So it's uh, cooked right into the bamboo and then they have to open. They have to open the bamboo. Look here. Different types of rice with uh, different ingredients. White rice, brown rice, uh, pepper rice. And then check, check. dishes here you can choose from the from the different sticks here is it a seafood is it meatballs and he will cook for you every single dish freshly made You have to visit one of these um, festivals if you have the opportunity to get into one. You can see it's hot today. It was uh, 34, 35 degrees, and even now it's about 30 degrees. Um, it's incredible, and the food also. Look here. This is. They use everything. They use everything from the pork, from the cow, from the chicken. So let's see what they have here. Another hot plate here. 
it's a big temple area you can see this is the um, the railway track over there we will cover later first let's have a look here at this food stall this is a restaurant you can sit down here in the back area they have seats they have table Look here. It's a street food haven here. Wherever you go. And here you can see what they have to offer. These rolled um, Chinese noodles, rice noodles. More hot plates, hot plates everywhere. Here's the one guy and here's another one. Here. And you can see a train, a train over there. you know how it looks like at the railway track later but um, I missed three trains already so this is number four so um, yeah hello hello my friend yeah um, I like to see the train coming and uh, passing markets or even here temples it's uh, really fun look here so many, so many different street foods here. And here we have uh, squid eggs, Savarika, squid eggs, very nice. Hot squid eggs, a little crispy outside, and um, the sauce is very, very important. We have here 50 baht and 100 baht for these cups of squid eggs. Very yummy and affordable. The seafood is always a little bit more expensive than than chicken or pork or beef. Another restaurant. Every single dish freshly made. Within seconds. Here, happy people. Refreshing drinks here. And another train. Look over there. Another train is passing by. I can't believe. I cannot count anymore. Train number four, number five. I don't know. Here, fishball. 30 baht for these really yummy fish balls here and you can see before they are um, smaller and then heating up the size will double sweets everywhere little donuts Here, 
you can see it. 30 baht for these <coughs> Chinese noodles. Normally you get it um, with these meatballs or with chicken feet. You can choose whatever you want on top of it. But they have all these ingredients also on the table if you if you eat it right here at the restaurant. And here more folded omelets. 50 baht. This is family business. Fifty baht. You can see they work hand in hand. One is grilling the egg, one is serving the customer and son and father making these omelets. A really, really nice temple festival here at Wat Sing. Link to the location in the video description below the video. Link to Google Maps so you can see where we are right now. Another very popular snack, 25 baht for these big sausages. You can see before there are a little bit slim and when they come into the hot wok, into the oil, they are doubling in size. 25 baht, sauce on top. Now here, we need sauce. No sauce. Look here. And here the next stall, insects. We have each on every festival. And you can see people lining up for the insects. Um, usually between 30 and 50 baht. So this, these um, meat sticks or meatball sticks, sausages are not so spectacular, but the sauce, look here, this sauce is the best, look here, it's spicy, it's sweet, really, really good sauce. I like it. It's a really big temple festival. Look oh, here. Look oh, here. In minutes, within minutes, they make these um, 
a little, yeah, I call it dumplings. It's not a dumpling, but you know. Handmade. So different colors. You see, they have different colors here. Making one after the next one. Temple festivals are for the whole family, not only for food, fun activities and um, shopping. It's really, really nice to see that Thailand is back, back in the normal mode after three years of, yeah, you know what I mean. So everything is back to normal and I'm happy. I'm happy that you can go everywhere without problems. People go out, even if you see people here um, with masks, it's, um, yeah, it's very common. People wearing masks. Before COVID, they had masks before the, uh, because of the pollution here. But uh, now they are a little bit aware of even young people. You can see people with masks, young people, old people, children, everywhere. So this is the railway track here. This is the train from Vong Vyang Yai to, um, to the neighbor province. You can see no train is coming. This is the only thing that prevents you from crossing. But you can see people don't take the, the regular street here. They are going over the railway track, even walking at home. And here, this is the road from Ekachai Road to the temple Wat Sing and um, it's a long way back so uh, I have my motorbike here next um, to the to the supermarket because it's uh, difficult to park to park here but you can see more and more people coming to the festival this is really really nice to see People are happy, I am happy. I hope you enjoyed the video. The video of the festival here at um, Wat Sing. Stay safe wherever you are. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do it right now. Hit the notification bell so you will get informed when there is a new video out and if we are live, you will get a notification. So, See you on one of my next videos. Bye bye for now. Wish you a nice day. See you soon. Bye bye.